would you have done differently six months ago? Uh, and I would say the one thing that helped us a lot also is actually reaching out and asking people's opinion. I'll give you an example. We were, when I, when I first thought we should, you know, move virtual, uh, uh, we started with this putting together a course and we we're about to record it in a, in a way that let's say, you know, a course that lasts in sessions of one hour each, basically. And I actually, you know, I, I got this recommendation from somebody that says, okay, speak to this education specialist. So it's a, a person that specializes in learning. She has a PhD in learning. And uh, ask her, you know, some advice about, you know, what's the best way to have that best experience for the, the users. And when I presented to her the curriculum and, you know, we were really about to re start recording. She just told me, look, people will have a hard time going through this. It's not gonna work. Uh, a lot of professionals are busy. Uh, they don't have time. They get their, the attention span is, is very short. Um, it's gonna be very hard to sell. To get effective, you need to break down your entire course. And it's a 13 hour course into small chunks of 10 minutes max and these are, that's your top duration of a lesson. It should be 10 minutes. If you're unable to, to teach somebody something new in 10 minutes, then something is wrong with the way you're not there yet. And I think, I think that kind of like the, it created a lot, some rework because we had to go back and redo the entire design of the curriculum and how we're going to do it, et cetera. But it ended up benefiting us really a lot. And so I would say, if I were to do it again, I would actually engage um, some of these specialists actually early on. That way we don't have to do that kind of rework. 